Y'all, this feels like the military. How does it feel like waiting, Elisa? You're almost there, love. Yeah. Bruh. This do be quite an experience. Like, this is literally gonna stay in the history, everyone. How was it? It feels like we're in a war. But let's do the outro, uh, not the outro, let's do the intro, everyone. So we are currently in town since if y'all... Since if y'all don't know, we're actually chilling at her cottage and her cottage is like 45 minutes away from Fredericton. So we came in to grab some supplies so we can continue living for another two weeks. But as y'all saw, stores are doing really, really amazing. Hold on, I'm just gonna put my seatbelt. A few moments later. Say hello la camera. Oh my god, that's one of our teachers and he's from Quebec and trust me, this guy is super hilarious and probably an epic substitute teacher. Anyway, as you all saw, the stores are actually doing very amazing in my own personal opinion. Like, low-key, with all of those efforts, uh, in total, New Brunswick, we actually have 118 cases and I think we have a total of 92 recoveries so far, so we're only missing a couple of people. I feel like they're just gonna open our province like as if we're like living in our mini world if that makes any sense to you guys but maybe by the time that y'all are seeing this video maybe everyone recovered hopefully everyone anyway let's go on to the next stop i don't know if y'all can see but elisa is in the waiting line outside of the dollarama hey love all for a little um uh ship to shopping uh down here in Fredericton now we will officially be My heading back so yeah fun fact everyone wearing latex gloves actually make your hands so moist anyway let's get back to the lake everyone Alright everyone, so our province has actually entered the first phase of reopening. Now, to the people that doesn't necessarily understand what I'm referring to or talking about... Well, plot twist, like always with every single one of my videos. Uh, see, the whole point of, the, of this video was kind of like to celebrate the fact that the skate parks were reopened since one of the recent statements, it says that all public parks are supposed to be open. But then, today, I have discovered Fredericton... Well, Fredericton recently tweeted that skate parks, dog parks, and everything else are basically still closed. Now, this kind of screws up this video since the whole point of it, like I said, was supposed to celebrate, you know, bringing a little bit of a happiness into people, but yeah that kind of got changed. So I'm not gonna scrap all of those clips, I'm still gonna keep all of them, but guys, please do not go to the skate park. And the worst part is when I went to the skate park, usually there was a sign saying, oh, Fredericton and then gibberish gibberish, skate park is closed, please don't go in. And then if you do ride it, then you could have a fine of gibberish gibberish. Well, when I actually went, there wasn't that sign. So I don't know, big confusion. Conclusion is simply, don't go to the skate park, everyone, or else you will get a fine. So do not ride the skate parks. 
until Frederickton says so that they are officially open, everyone. All right, everyone, we made it to the skate park. Surprisingly, there's only one person. I'm kind of surprised since all the other times that I've came to was maybe like five, six, or seven people. But right now, there's not too many people. We're gonna take the chance and enjoy it while it lasts. And if it ever gets too crowded, I'm gonna have to leave because obviously, I don't wanna run the risk. But in the meantime, since we have a little bit of time, let's get some clips, everyone. Feels good to be back, you know? Hey Jordan, how are you doing? Is toe, your foot no still that much damage? Oh, uh, if you want to look at my toe, I mean, it's, it's still not too bad. I mean, it's like not double the size of the other one yet. Let's see Jordan's toe, everyone. It's not too bad. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, that is all for the beautiful Smexy scooter clips. Uh, I went back at Elisa's house since the skate park was getting way too crowded and just too dangerous in my own personal opinion since I don't want to put Elisa's uh, family in danger because of the whole freaking COVID-19 thing. So we are back at her house. We're currently chilling, drinking a nice, beautiful Smexy water bottle since I didn't have a water bottle and I was dying of thirstiness. Uh, anyway, that was a pretty sweet session till it ended because there was too many people. Either way, let's head back to the cottage of one. <laughs> All right, everyone, we have my beautiful Smexy taxi girl. All right, everyone, so that is all for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyway, you know what to do. Leave a big fat thumbs up, subscribe right now, turn on post notification bell, and notification shout out goes to this little buddy right here. Make sure to stay tuned for the next video, everyone.